Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm happy to be here in solidarity today as we collectively march forward into uncertain times and to see both the familiar and unfamiliar faces. So uh, much of what I will say, and probably even the precise language that I will use, uh, echoes what's already been said today. And this is a very good thing, as we need to amplify our voices and beliefs in every way possible over the next four years. Um, as several people have said before, many of the things that we are experiencing today, the racism, the misogyny, the xenophobia, and more, finally coming to the fore in a broader sphere, also exist right here within our sacrosanct spaces of art. What has emerged from this polarized climate are increasingly claustrophobic ideas of what it means to be American. Who gets to be seen as American and who all are rendered illegible and who fall through the cracks uh, in threat of physical and discursive erasure. Presumably many of us came to the art space precisely for art's potential to offer complex, layered, and nuanced perspectives that reality just couldn't take. <coughs> Precisely for those possibilities that lie within the sphere in order to complicate and broaden categories. Categories such as American art, to recognize the capaciousness of these categories, and categories such as woman, modernism. Part of our work here within these and similar institutions is a deep introspection and reflection within ourselves. So uh, many of you, I'm sure, uh, were also addicted to the roller coaster of a spectacle that preceded this day, which had me on the edge of my seat. I watched and read a lot more news than I normally would have. Uh, I was really struck by one moment in all of this. Um, I was really struck by the speech that Hizir Khan, who was Humayun Khan's father, uh, gave a speech during the DNC. I, it, it really stopped me in my tracks because this was the first time I had seen on national television a person of South Asian descent acknowledged as a citizen and as someone who had contributed to American history not as cross-cultural exchange, a byproduct of the melting pot or a foreigner, but as a subject who built upon what we have and contributed. I thought a lot about Hizir Khan's speech and I wondered, wow, could the DNC possibly be ahead of the art world? <laughs> For a long time, we have been having these conversations amongst ourselves. Now, I wanna share in conversation with you. What gets constituted as, as American, and how does art contribute to this? I've been coming to the Whitney since I was a kid. I love the Whitney. I know several people, as Dred said, all of that. I was really excited uh, when the Whitney's first uh, show after the renovation opened, America is Hard to See. I was curious about what America is Hard to See as a title would offer in terms of the works in the show. There were 406 artists in the show. Of those artists, there were 20 artists of Asian descent. And of those artists, there were two, maybe three artists of South Asian descent. And that is if you actually open up the subcontinent and include the uh, side, side areas. So I think that um, this, to me, made me think that a lot of the work, it's great that we're raising money for Planned Parenthood. It's, you know, I'm really happy to be going to the civic uh, meetings in my neighborhood, but a lot of the work has to be done right here because this space is a microcosm of that space. It's not us and them, it's here, it's all of us. And so it means more than just adding a few more brown bodies to the next show, the next speaker series, or the next uh, executive staff. It also means expanding our understanding of what these categories mean within our very field and what, what it is that constitutes categories such as American art, figuration, um, or modernism. So um, as such, I look forward to being in conversation with you all over the next few years and uh, to uh, seeing the world with our eyes open together, as painful as that may be.